Welcome to another Fafner guide. Today's guide is about Rageraptor. This is going to be a long video because it has so many combo in it. I'm trying my best to keep it simple here. And don't forget that you can use timestamps to surf through the combo that you need in this video. I'm not gonna talk much about this deck. The game plan of this deck is to summon unaffected boss monsters ultimate falcon, but with the recent new selection pack, it gives us one more unaffected monster, Rising Rebellion Falcon. With their newest support cards, it makes this deck way more consistent and are able to play around hand traps or even super poly since Yubel is a top tier deck now. Here is the deck list that I suggested to build. This list is called Revolution Force version. I prefer this list because it has a lot of way to play around hand traps, even maxi. And here is the budget version. Just a reminder that I'm starting to use untap.gg app for Master Duel. This app allows you to track cards in your deck in a real time while dueling. So you no longer be confused why you cannot activate your branded fusion card. The best thing about this app, that it can copy a deck list and let this app build it for you in Master Duel. Give it a second and you are ready to roll. So make sure to use my referral link in description and download untapped.gg deck tracker now. It will directly support me as a Yugi tuber. For starters, I'm gonna show the basic no interruption combo first, so you can understand the potential of this deck and why you want to build it. And after that, I'll show you the combo when you get hand traps and also the power of this simple rare card. Before we start doing the combo, I need to explain that this deck's combo can be rotated the other way depends on the resources that you have. Similar to Centurion, all this Rage Raptor monsters in the main deck can become a starters and also an extender. But one thing that you need to keep in mind, that they are all hard once per turn. So you need to track which resources that you already used similar way to Tierlament's girls. Therefore, to make you easily tracking them in this guide, I'm gonna show all those Rage Raptors cards that required to finish each combo. If there's any card that doesn't show up in here, means you can still use them as backup plan. Basic uninterrupted combo. Let's start with the basic two level four birds first. It's called two level four birds because this combo can be started by any level four Rage Raptors that can let you have two level four birds on your field. This part, make sure to detach mimicry. It's very important. At this part, make sure to not detach Raider's Wing. It will protect Force Strix from any targeting effects, because Rise Rank Up requires you to target one Rage Raptor Exist Monster on your field. If your opponent chain and manage to remove it, it will nullify the effects.
the end board you will have one targeting Omni Negate, one full board wipe, and three unaffected monster on your field. As you can see we only need two level 4 bird on the field, Noah, and Vulture, which can be replaced in another way. Means you can start with other Rage Raptor cards, as long as you can make two level 4 birds on your field. But this board is very weak against Super Poly, leaving you with only the Omni Negate Trap as a disruptions. Since Yubel is top tier now, I believe you gonna need to learn this next combo. Two level 4 birds against Super Poly. Make sure to keep one exist monster as a material in Rebellion Falcon. At this part, if you only bring two Force Strix in your extra deck, you can activate Heal Eagle first and then activate Roost, return the two banished cards and one Force Strix from Grave, and then you can exist summon it after. When your opponent uses Super Poly, they can't use both Force Strix as a material, leaving you with one Force Strix on the field to be used by Rise Rank Up later. Next combo. Simpler two level four birds. If you are on budget and only have one Rebellion Falcon, you can go for this combo instead.
Next are some of advanced combo you can try. Kali Yuga 2 Level 4 Birds. This combo is still weak against Super Poly, so I don't recommend it. Next are Requiem 2 Level 4 Birds. This combo is more like full disruption instead of towering combo like before. And that's all for the basic two level four birds. Next are the Rage Raptor specific combo. Tribute one card combo simple version. In this combo, we are utilizing fuzzy laneous effects, which have a restriction that you cannot summon other monster except Rage Raptor. So Nightmare, Requiem and SP Little Knight is no longer an option when your combo is using fuzzy laneous in it. Just keep in mind that usually, if you start with Tribute, you will always end up using Fuzzy.
Tribute 1 Card Combo Extended Version. Basically, it's similar to 2 Level 4 Birds Basic. Tribute 1 card combo Kali Yuga version. Strangle plus any bird advance combo. Strangle with any bird can perform a basic 2 level 4 birds. That's why I'm only going to show you the advance using this card as starters. 
In here, I'm using Evil Swarm Bird just to show you that Strangle can do full combo with any level 4 Dark Winged Beast. For these two you can just summon Nightmare or Exist Dragon or SP, or if you have enough extra deck space you can summon Mascarena instead. Fuzzy plus any bird advance combo. Vulture plus any Rage Raptors advance combo. If start with Vulture, means you can get two level 4 birds without normal summoning, and so you can use it to search Raider's wing to protect your Brave Strix combo line.
That's all for the uninterrupted Rage Raptors combo. Next is how to deal with hand traps. As I showed in the previous combo, Raider's Wing gave the exist monster a target protection if it stays as material in it, but sadly it only protects early part of the combo. So, what if Wise Strix got Imperm? Instead of summoning Ultimate Falcon, you summon Satellite Cannon, and pass the turn. Next turn, when your opponent summon a monster, you can activate Satellite and trigger Wise Strix effect to set Rise rank up. And you can summon Rebellion Falcon whenever you want, using only Satellite and Brave Strix. What if Noir got Imperm? This only works if you have Raider's Wing as your starters. What if Noir got Imperm if you start with one card tribute Lanius?
Now is a three card combo to counter hand traps. Usually when you summon at least one monster and you felt the delay, you should know that opponent must have either max C or imperm. If you want to counter the imperm, you can actually try to search the raider's wing so it will protect your exist until you can summon ultimate falcon. but it's a long way to do it. And now, what if your opponent imperm the four Strix in here with the same hand? Here is another version with different starters. And now with the same situation like before.
All right now, what if instead of Imperm you got Ash Blossom on Brave Strix? Here is another version with different starters. As you can see it only works if you have Strangle or Raider's Wing to counter Ash Blossom. If you have Strangle as the third cards, make sure to keep it in your hand to counter Ash Blossom. Next is Revolution Force to counter Hand Traps. With this hand, if you summon a monster, and if you felt there's a response by your opponent, you know there's an Imperm, it's preferable to summon Raider's Knight instead. If Raider's Knight got Imperm, you can just let it happen and activate Revolution Force to summon Brave Strix and just continue your combo. And if Brave Strix got Imperm instead, you can chain Revo Force targeting Brave Strix summon Revolution Falcon, and Brave Strix will add the second Revolution Force instead the typical rank up magic, they are not once per turn.
but if there's no response when you summon these two, your opponent might have an Ash Blossom, and it's better we bait it first instead of summoning Raider's Knight. Summon Force Strix. If it's baited, you can use Revo and summon Brave Strix, and just continue your combo. Next is how to deal with Nibiru. When dealing with Nibiru, there are two different combo, and they are depends on when is the Nibiru dropped. Two birds with one special summon bird. As you can see this is our fifth summon, whether they drop it here or before, it will be the same. Instead of summoning Ultimate Falcon, you summon Force Strix. Tribute with any one special summon bird. There's also a similar combo if you start with Raider's Wing.
One thing again, if you start with either fuzzy or strangle during this part, you can just add some morgue here and just continue the combo. Now what if your opponents wait until you link summon Y Strix? Two birds with one special summon bird. In here after your fifth summon, and there's a response by your opponent, it's a confirmed Nibiru, but he didn't drop it yet. Since you know there's a Nibiru coming down, when activating Noir, you must add Pain Lanius instead of Eagle, and link both Noir and Arsenal into Wise Strix, and summon Ultimate Falcon. Before we continue the combo, activate Falcon effects. At this point, your opponent must chain it into Nibiru, or else they no longer be able to activate any effects after. Since I can't demonstrate it with the AI in this game, I'm gonna use Dark Hole and pretend that Nibiru just dropped on us at that time. So let's say if Nibiru dropped here. Here is how to continue the combo. Tribute with any one special summon bird. Next is Droll and Maxi. Here is how to combo after you get Droll.
Now this is the reason why I group Droll and Max C together. You can use Droll to counter Max C in this deck, we call it Self Droll Combo. Self Droll 3 birds except Fuzzy. Self Droll Noir plus any extender except Fuzzy. Self Droll Tribute plus any extender. Self Droll to level 4 birds. If this happened, instead of using the Droll, it's better we exist summon to either Nightmare or Baguska, and keep the Droll for opponent's turn. Special thanks to Yukonon from Master Duel Meta Discord for some of the combo line. If you are new to Exist deck, you can check this Perlee guide that I made. In the beginning, I explain all the gimmick of Exist deck that are very unique and worth to learn. Alright, that's all that I can provide with this deck. If you like, please leave a like, subscribe, and share it. I'll see you next time.